Hi, Grade 3. Welcome back. My name is Teacher Nico. This week, we're going to be doing Unit 5, Lesson 3 and Lesson 4 together. So let's start with Unit 5, Lesson 3. So on page 48 in your English Up, Everybody Up book, page 48, we have Lesson 3 and it's a story. So I'm going to start by reading the story to you. You can just listen to the story and then we're going to be answering some questions about the story. So unit five, lesson three, page 48. The story is called Cool Shirt. Julie and Emma are shopping. Look at her shirt. It's so cool. I like her boots. I like this shirt. When we can wear cool clothes too. I want to be older. Me too. I like your shoes. Nice shirt. Thank you. So you see, we read the story in those four pictures there. And it's about Julie and Emma and they went shopping. And they bought some clothes and they wanted to be cool and look nice. And then they were looking in the mirror and they said they want to be older. And then the older kids looked at them and they said, nice shirt and I like your shoes. So the value here, on the bottom there, there's a value. The value means what does the story teach us? The value is be nice. Be nice, be kind, tell people good things, tell them, Oh, you look good today. I like your shirt. I like your shoes. I like your backpack. Just be kind and be nice. Now we're going to move on to page 49. So 49 on top. B, there's four questions and true and false. So we're going to circle, oh, we, yes or no. We're going to circle yes or no. The questions are about the story. So question number one. Emma and Julie are in the post office. Yes or no? No, they are in a shopping center. They're like in central. They're doing shopping for clothes. So they're not in the post office. So number one, we circle no. Number two, question number two. The older girls are shopping. Yes or no? Let's look in the story. Yes. The younger girls and the older girls were shopping. So, question two's answer is yes. Number three, Emma and Julie want to be younger. Let's look in the story. No, they say, I want to be older. So number three, Emma and Julie want to be younger. The answer is no, circle no. Number four, the older girls like Julie's shirt. Let's look in the story. The last picture. They say, I like your shoes. Nice shirt. So yes, number four. The older girls like Julie's shirt. We're going to circle yes. Okay, now we're going to move on to Unit 5, Lesson 4 on page 50 and 51. So unit five, lesson four on page 50. On top, it says adjectives. So words that describe something like beautiful shirt. It describes the shirt. It says it's a beautiful shirt or it's a soft shirt or it's a pink shirt. An adjective describes another word. So let's look at our vocabulary. There at B, we have vocabulary, four words that we're going to be using in this lesson. Number one, hard. Something hard, like a pencil or a rock, is hard. Number two, soft. Something like a pillow or a little cat or a bunny is soft. Number three, heavy. Heavy is something that has a lot of weight. It's very heavy, like you cannot pick up a bed. It's too heavy. Number four, light, light. So something is heavy, it's 
got a lot of weight or it doesn't have a lot of weight and it's very light like a feather or like a balloon it's light it floats in the air so those are the four vocabulary words we're going to be using in this lesson hard soft heavy and light now we're going to move on to c this one here in that little blue box there we have words the words that we used in the vocabulary and we're going to change them because we're going to compare them so we're going to say there's a question there in the blue box and we're going to use these words where they comparisons so we're going to add letters to them the first one is hard hard becomes harder so we add a er soft becomes softer we add another er heavy becomes heavier so if a word ends with a y we put a i e r heavy heavier light lighter we just add an er now let's see what is the question so if we look in this blue box there we have a question and we're going to change the words in red in red using the comparison words and the vocabulary words number one which one is harder the marble or the ball so that's our question which one is harder the marble or the ball and our answer is the marble is harder the marble is small and round and very hard a ball can be soft so you can kick it and you can throw it so which one is harder the marble or the ball the marble is harder question number two let's look at number two there let's read number two first which one is softer the sofa or the chair which one do you think is softer the chair is made from wood and the sofa is made from wood but it's got nice soft pillows on it so which one is softer the sofa or the chair the sofa is softer number three which one is heavier the book or the notebook so a notebook is heavy it's big and a notebook is light it's smaller which one is heavier, the book or the notebook? The book is heavier. Number four, which one is lighter, the box or the backpack? So let's see there. The backpack is big and the box is small. So the answer is the box is lighter. Which one is lighter, the box or the backpack? The box is lighter. Okay, now we're going to move on to page 51. Let's see on top there with D. It says, read and circle. So they ask us questions and we have to circle the correct one. Number one, which one is softer? Marble or ball? The ball, the ball is softer. So we circle the ball. Which one is harder? The chair or the sofa? The chair is harder, so we circle chair. Number three, which one is lighter, the book or the notebook? The notebook is lighter, so we circle notebook. Which one is heavier, box or backpack? The backpack is heavier, so we circle backpack. Backpack is big and you carry it with all your books. A box is a small little box there. So we circle backpack. Now we're going to look at section E. Section E there, you see there's two charts. So let's see. Oh, fill in the charts. Now we have to say which one is hard, which one is soft, which one is heavy, and which one is light. So let's start with this one. Which one is of those words? You see there's one, two, three, four, five, six vocabulary words. So we have to put them in the correct box. Hard and soft. So let's read. Peach. Is a peach hard or soft? Soft. So we put peach. We write peach at soft. Pencil. 
Hard or soft? Hard. So we write pencil there. Yogurt. Yogurt. Hard or soft? We eat yogurt, so we know it's soft. So we put yogurt there. Soft. Yogurt. Plate. Plate. Is it hard or soft? Hard. So we're going to write plate there. Sweater. A sweater that you wear. Is it hard or soft? It's soft because we have to wear it. So we're gonna write sweater there. Then the last one, fork. A knife and a fork, you eat with a fork or a spoon or a fork. Is a fork hard? Yes. So we're gonna write fork there under hard. So we've got pencil, plate and fork under hard. We've got peach, yogurt and sweater under soft. Now we're going to move on to the next one. So we have another six vocabulary words and we've got heavy and light. Heavy, a lot of weight. Light doesn't have a lot of weight. So let's start with number one. Elephant. Do you think an elephant is heavy or light? An elephant is heavy, he's so big. So we're going to write elephant under heavy. Potato chips. You eat potato chips. They are very light. So we're going to write potato chips under light truck a big truck that carries a lot of things do you think it's heavy or light yes it's heavy so we're gonna write truck under heavy let's look at the other one flower a flower that you pick in the field you think it's heavy or light it's light because you can pick it and you it's in your hand so we're gonna write flower under light rock a rock that you pick up. Do you think it's heavy or light? Yes, it's heavy. So we're going to write rock under heavy. And then the last one, popcorn. Do you think popcorn is heavy or light? Yes, it's light because we can eat it like potato chips and you can throw it up in the air and catch it. So we're going to write popcorn under light. So let's recap. For heavy, we have elephant, truck, and rock. For light, we have potato chips, flour, and popcorn. Okay, so that was lesson four. So don't forget to join the live class on Wednesday afternoon after 12, and then I'm going to make a PowerPoint about this lesson, and we'll go over it to make sure that you understand everything. Then I will make a PDF of that, I will copy that PowerPoint and I will put it on the school platform so you can download it and look at it. So until I see you on Wednesday afternoon for the live class, don't be naughty, be safe and take care of yourself. Don't play too many games and have a very, very good day or week until I see you again. Goodbye.